None of us could have imagined what 2020 would bring. Back in March, when the pandemic first hit, we knew that Good Law Project had a role to play in holding government to account. As the footage rolled in of frontline workers battling to save the lives of others, battling without adequate PPE, we launched legal action to force government to hold an urgent public inquiry into its failings. The families of those who died protecting others from this virus deserve justice. Back in June, we caught wind of PPE contracts going to the weirdest counterparties, a pest control company, a confectioner in Northern Ireland, a family hedge fund owned through Mauritius, a jeweler in Florida. We were alarmed. Supporters like you donated in their thousands, enabling us to bring this scandal into the light. We uncovered backdoor VIP channels, enabling those close to power, those with political connections, to win hugely lucrative procurement contracts. We reveal that government has wasted hundreds of millions, if not billions of pounds, on PPE and testing that cannot be used. Politicians and newspaper editors lined up to cite our cases as evidence of cronyism, if not corruption, at the heart of this government. Back in the summer, when the government's A-level algorithm was set to destroy the futures of hundreds of thousands of teenagers, we were there. Within hours, we had pulled together a legal team and taken the first formal step in proceedings. Only four days later, government threw the towel in. Leading the charge against the pandemic requires the best people in the country, but government refused to look beyond its close friends and associates, and the country now bears the scars of those failures. No government should ever discriminate against those born without a silver spoon in their mouth. But government is doing whatever it can to derail us. It's asking for delays and it's racking up huge costs, we believe deliberately, in an attempt to scare us off. Government also refuses to answer simple, straight questions about its conduct. We're a small team and we're pitted against the limitless resources of the state. But what we do have is people like you people just as determined as we are to hold the government to account. 2020 was a year none of us expected. It's been astonishingly difficult for many of us, but together, I believe we've shown what good law looks like. Who knows what 2021 will bring, but with your support, we know that Good Law Project will be here to continue the fight. We are not optimistic. We are not pessimistic. We are determined.